Recentering, recentering, okay? <laughs> Let's look at reports really quick. So we're gonna just look at how do I schedule a report, okay? So we're here on reports, and that's the reports at the top menu section, okay? And I'm just gonna randomly grab a report here, okay? And in this case, I'm just gonna grab this accounts report, okay? And I'm gonna hit the pencil icon on this because the report's set up in the ways that I think I want it. It's got all the filter sorts and things like that that are on there theoretically, okay? And if I scroll down to the bottom here of that, okay, you can see here this plus schedule button. Okay? I'm gonna hit that schedule real quick, okay? And from here, I can say, send this report at 6 a.m., okay, starting, you know, on this date, right? And never end or end at a specific time, okay? So specific time, specific day, right? So send it only for the next four weeks and then knock it off, okay? All right. And then the recurrence, well, daily, every so many days, anything like that. So you can see I have a drop down here, right? Send it once a week, yep. send it once a year, and you just tell it what day you want to go out on it, okay? So if I say daily and then I mark every day, what's gonna happen? It's gonna well, it's 6 a.m. Every, every day, starting on 2-10-2022, which is the past. This report's gonna be delivered to whoever that recipient is, yes. okay? If I scroll down a little bit further, so good. okay? Can you... Now you'll see here, and again, this is a poor example, unfortunately, because I just ran the grab this, mm -hmm. but this report has two rules assigned to it, okay? In this case, they are something about a shopping account and purchase as a guest. If I had marked those as ask needs, okay, then in this particular scheduled instance of that report, right, then it would say use these filters and then send that in that format, okay? So in, the, in your case, or your example, where you wanna send a roster to a specific uh, person, right? right? You might filter based on that location, right? You say, okay, show me all the active products at this location or with products with start dates between X and Y, okay? And then send that in the form of a, you probably use a roster report for that, mm -hmm. okay? Then, once you get in there and you got that rate, you go back up here to the top, which I kind of skipped through, but you can either select internal users in your database, which is what this database has, all these internal users right here, okay? okay. Or you can select specific user groups within your database, okay? So specifically, you can look right here, and these are basically user groups, okay? Or you can simply enter an email address or multiple email addresses in a common separated function right there. So if I want this report to go to bill underscore blend at hotmail.com, which is my personal email, don't send anything there. <laughs> okay. uh, that's a really old email address, by the way. I could do that, okay. Then, so if I, if I, if I put an email in here, right? So in this instance, it's going to try and send that report unless I delete that or modify that schedule to that person or persons every day at that point, okay? Now, you can add another schedule, okay? And it, that same schedule using that same interface could be then, could be focused on a different product or different group of products at that point, okay? So it's just using that one report that you created and it's filtering it by that specific thing and then it's sending it to that person. On that next schedule that you add, it could be multiple people, okay? It could be less time, more time, different frequencies, different times of the day, wherever you think you'd prefer at that point, okay? And that's a great way to get the coordinators of those schools that information. Do you have a question? Yeah, um, so it that sends through uh, CSV or HTML? Oh, a good question. And I do Sorry. Apologize. Yeah, um, I, I kind of, I kind of uh, you can specify that to you. So in this case, oh, okay. I see a CSV, either Excel, <clears throat> JSON, XML, or Excel Extended. Um, XML is basically, it creates it as a web page, right? A CSV, I like to send them as CSVs because then I can move that into Excel, and once I have it in Excel, the world is your oyster as far as if you want to manipulate that data, okay? So okay. that's my personal preference, okay? Uh, but, but experiment with it, you know? Send it to yourself, you know? See what you like as far as the formats, you know? And, and, and make it feel, because it doesn't cost anything to send it, okay? 